Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how Sinlim performed his card trick on AGT. And we are starting right now. Let me do some color changes first and we will move on to the performance and guys if you want to learn these types of color changes you can comment down below i can teach you these types of color changes very well just like that <laughs> that trust and genius does that does that so let's see uh, the performance and we will move on to the tutorial all right, everyone, we're going to try something literally interesting. Okay. Can you grab the deck, hug bar? Can okay. you just give it a mix? Give it a little mix? Yeah, all shuffle right. it up as much as you want. You can even look through the cards okay. and see if they're all, all right. different. Yeah. Okay. Are you happy? He's a professional yeah, I, card I player over there. Only now. when you're happy. All right. All right, here we go. Cool. I'm going to riffle down the deck like this. Okay. You just say stop anytime you want. Okay. Okay. Stop. Right there? Yep. Remember the card. Okay. Don't forget it. All right. Forget okay. it, the trick's over. Okay. Have your hand out like this. All right. All right, cool. Shuffle right. up the cards. Okay, shuffle again. Mix it up as much as you want. Okay. All right. Again, until you're happy and it's thoroughly mixed inside. That way I have no idea what your card is or where it is. Can you close your eyes? All right, I'll close, I'll do whatever you want. All right, open Here your we eyes. Go. All right, cool. All right. Here we go, we're gonna try to find your card, but not me, all of us. All right. All of us? Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna try to split the deck into four equal piles. I'll try my best to make them as equal as possible. I was never very good at math, but there you go, I think. I don't think that's funny, but yeah. <laughs> All right, Akbar, you pick the card, right? You get to point to a pile, just point to one. Point to a pile? Yeah, point to a pile. That one. All right, give it to someone other than yourself. Okay, how about uh, you get that one? Right. Oh! Point to another one. Thank you. Uh, this one. All right, give it to someone other than yourself. All right, boom. All right, there you go. another Thank one. Thank you. Uh, let's take this one. All right, cool. All right. all right, so we all grab the deck like this. This is what we call a gambler's grip. Okay. Go okay, ahead. a what grip? Mechanics grip. A mechanics yeah, grip. Yeah, like what a dealer would do at a casino. And try dealing the top card right over there. Yeah, very good. And then shuffle like this. And then deal, and shuffle, and deal. But make sure it's in a nice, neat little pile like that. Because neatness does count. You can even deal multiple cards like a packet if you want. All we're doing is we're actually just thoroughly mixing up the cards. That's all we're doing until you are finished. Very good, you're fast. These okay. two others are oh. a little okay, slower. Okay, 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 hurry up, Matt. Okay, cool. okay. All right, now. sorry, Tyra. Live TV. You have your cards, grab it. Well, now you guys play poker? Yes. All right, in poker we burn the top card like this. Go ahead, try okay. it. Okay. Burn it. Do you know why we do that, Tyra? Okay. Cheaters. Yeah, that's right, because sometimes there's marks on the back of the card. That's oh, why we burned it. Okay. So in this game, we can burn as many as you want. Go ahead. It's hot. Burn we're, it. We're burning. Okay, burn I'm not burning them, Tyra. Stop burn whenever you want. I'm stopping here, but you guys right, I'll stop don't right throw here. all okay. your cards, obviously. Okay, okay. Keep I was counting. One, two, three, count. I've got two. All right, I going. got one, two, three, four. Was okay, I supposed that, to have kept more, Shen? That's okay. No, no, okay. no. You can throw right, as many. Six. All right, don't touch your cards anymore. So look in this pile. Look, I'm not going to do anything funny. I would say about half of our cards are in here. Would you say that? Yeah, uh, 60%. Yeah, 60%. Yeah, that's okay. very accurate. Okay. Uh, you, threw, you threw a majority of your <laughs> I cards I did throw here. a majority of mine away. Yeah, which, is, which makes this trick a little bit harder, so thank you for that. Now, for the first time ever, what was your card? Because uh, they, don't, they don't know what it is. OK, you sure? Yeah, 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 okay. you can say it. Jack of clubs. Jack of clubs. Yeah. So the chances of it being in here is about 60%, right? Yes, 60%. Yeah. You gave us the piles. I had no influence on you whatsoever. No. We didn't talk about this backstage or anything like this. This is the first time you've ever seen this, right? Yep, that's right. This is All the first right. time. We then shuffled the cards very thoroughly. Yeah. I feel like you're about to do something to us here, Shen. <laughs> what if I told you, even though all of that happened, that Jack of Clubs is in your pile? In my pile? Yeah. Never. What would you say? That's a 20% chance? Uh, zero. Less. Well, than okay, 20. well, let's do, let's do better. Okay. What if it was at the top of your pile? <laughs> no, that's impossible. Lift up the top card, show them. What is it? Show us! <laughs> oh. What the hell? How did you do that? Okay. You did that. You did that. I didn't do anything. Yes. And you shuffled the card. I did. How'd you do that? But we're playing poker, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. And you know in poker, a four of a kind's the best hand. Yeah. That's why I have a jack. Tyra, that's why you have a jack. What the hell? You're gonna have a jacket. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. 
so this is how the trick was done guys now you hold the card in this grip and from here you bend the card a little and from here you do, you tell the spectators you will refill to the cards and you tell this uh, spectators to tell you stop wherever they want so you hold the card in this grip and from here uh, you refill to the cards let's say the spectator told you stop here at this point let's say here uh, okay at the uh, eight of diamonds and at this point you don't have any idea okay guys where uh, you the spectators told you stop and from here uh, you make a pinky break below the card that they have selected like so doesn't doesn't have to be so big and from here you flip over the whole pile uh, using your thumb at this corner from this corner and as you do that the two piles will get separated um, let me do it once again stop do do this and as you do this the two cards will take uh, two pals will get separated and you pick at the cards and you can do this while giving the spectators to shuffle of this card okay guys it uh it's in limb did and from at the at this point now you do the card that was uh king of clubs so it doesn't matter how many times the spectators will shuffle to the cards okay so f from at this point now um, you will tell the spectators you will distribute this pile uh, from equally uh, you will try to distribute this uh, deck into four equal piles so and but actually guys you are just you are searching for the kings okay and you keep all the kings at the bottom okay face up at the bottom and like so yeah at the bottom King of clubs is here and from here you flip over all the piles and you tell the end uh, from this point guys most of the um, um, you just forget the card and um, the trick is messed up so that means you have to remember what uh, king that they have selected and it king of clubs is actually here and you look at the position of the king that they have selected and from at this point you tell the spectators to choose any one of this pile and let's say the spectators choose that one so uh, you tell the spectator you give uh, this pile to anybody else than yourself so they will do that and if the spectator had chosen that pile then i would tell the spectator um that okay you keep this pile and the uh, yours you will distribute these three piles so let's say the spectator told um one this pile so you will uh, that he will give it um, to another spectator and this one to another and let's say the spectator want this one so you uh, tell the spectator that you take that one and you tell the spectator I will go with this one and from here, at this point now their card is actually on top at their pile and from here you tell the spectators that you just deal shuffle deal shuffle deal shuffle deal and from at this point you tell the spectators that you can deal multiple cards and you tell don't tell the spectators that you you can deal multiple cards at the at first because uh if you if you do that they will do this and the king will be lost somewhere around say, the center of the deck so you do this and the um spectators will follow you and from at this point down the king is actually at the bottom uh, face up uh, uh, from the top uh, I mean to say face top at the f uh, top while they are face up so from here you again you tell the spectators that you hold all these cards in the gamble script uh, gamblers or mechanics yes mechanics grip and from at this point now you tell the spectators that you uh, you can burn as many cards as you want and you can stop wherever you want so uh, let's say the you the spectator stopped here the third spectator stopped here and the spectator stop right about here and from at this point now the trick is almost over guys we are, you all you have uh, i mean to say oh there's still one step left now from here you tell the spectators you count how, what car, how many cars they left and they will do that and what after doing this you have actually take on the card at the top so here's bottom they will count like so and this type of count doesn't work okay so you just tell the spectators to this oh it's not necessary by the way guys 
and from at this point now all the cards are on top and now from here you tell the spectators that what is the percentage that you have um, your selected card is in your pile and they will be get nervous inside themselves and say no this is zero percent chance and you um, not only your pile but at the top of uh, but the top card of your pile and they will get more nervous and when they see that their the top card is their card they will freak out and not only that the another bullet is coming because they tell the spectators that yeah, not only you but you we all have found your card and after this the trick is over and amazing and this is really great uh, trick guys i do enjoy this trick a lot and i recommend you i recommend you to perform this trick in front of real people and it gets really great uh reaction guys uh, like you have seen in the performance and this was for today's guys um if you like this video hit that thumbs up button subscribe my to my channel for more and see you in the next video peace wrap